Hello everyone, my name is Victor. Welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Bard. Today we're gonna make a uh, rose hip soup out of the dried rose hips that we have. And the first step for that is to put them in some water and they're just gonna have to uh, soak for about an hour or two. So we got my box of rose hips here. I'm um, storing them in an old ice cream box. And I'm not going to tell you the exact measurements in the video but I will be putting a link to the recipe I'm using uh, in the description, which is in Swedish. So I'll also be running it through Google Translate and putting it in the description itself. So you can check it out there. Now I'm just gonna let this sit on the side for about an hour or two. And I'm just gonna go do my daily archery practice and go on a walk or something like that. Oh, and in case I forgot to mention, all of the rose hips that are being used in this recipe, I've picked and dried myself. And there is another video for that, uh, that I will put up in the corner in case you want to watch it. Now, I've been out walking for about two hours, so I'm just gonna go and rest while this just sorts itself out. So I actually left them for too long, and it ended up evaporating all of the water because I didn't put a lid on, and they actually burned. But I'm going to continue anyway and just add some more water. So I've had a taste of this and it actually tastes quite good. Obviously it could have tasted much better if I didn't burn the rose hips, you know, the first thing I did. But for a first attempt making this from scratch, it actually turned out really well. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you did end up liking the video and if you did find this helpful, uh, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Comment any suggestions you might have for future projects like this. Now it's important to note that I did not follow um, the recipe religiously. Uh, I kind of used it as guidelines, but I did use the right measurements, but kind of like the process I kind of mixtured with a little bit. But either way, the recipe that I used as a guideline, I will be putting down in the description below. Peace.